piece of the family. Speedy back again. Got a little lineup so I look a little bit more decent. But listen, you know the saying, you are who you hang out with. Well, that's very true, right? Growing up, I had friends who were bullies. I had friends who were punks. <laughs> I had friends who did bad things, who didn't do bad things. So in every aspect of my life, if I hung out with those type of people, it made me that person too. It made me a bully. It made me a punk sometimes. It made me, you know, doing bad shit in life and, you know, going out stealing stuff and, you know, doing bad things, right? I remember when, I'm going to give you a little story about when I, about when I was growing up, uh, I hung out with a, a group of kids and we claimed to be in the gang. Like, I'll never forget this. I was probably like 12, 11, 13 around that time. It was a very monumental point in my life. It was a very pivotal moment in my life because, first of all, I start. I, I went through. I was going through puberty, so I was changing, and I had this chip on my shoulder. My voice was getting a little deep, or whatever the case may be. And I thought I was a tough guy. Um. Yeah. So we all thought we were a gang. We were from the same hood. We all from the same place. Thought we was a gang. You know, we used to always. And the funny part about it, in hindsight. <laughs> Is that we thought we were a gang, but we always fought each other. Like, we always just did things on, like amongst each other. Like, we would fight each other all the time. Like, I remember I had my first black eye, my left eye. I got punched right in my eye, like our first black eye. I was crying, man. I was, ah, like, I remember I gave one of my friends stitches, and it's like I punched him in the face. Like, but you get where I'm going with the story, right? Basically, right? And I'm thanking my cousin Jasmine for this. I love you, Jazz. Because if it wasn't for her ratting on me and telling her parents that I was in a gang, it would never got back to my mom. It would never got back to my um, my little brother and sister's father. It would never got back to my own father that I was in a gang and things could have gotten worse. And that was just a sign from the universe to letting, letting me know that this is not my calling. This is not what I'm made of, right? So basically, we they cracked down on the whole gang thing and the whole gang thing was shut down, right? That brings me to my next point. Reevaluate the people around you. If your surroundings are shitty and you have people who don't contribute to a better lifestyle for you, then you really have to reevaluate your circle and you really need to, you know, tap deeper into, you know, all right, is this person adding more value to me? Is this person like, are they positive? Are they a positive force for me? And if they aren't, then you have to remove them. You know what I'm saying? Because we tend to not do that. Right, AJ? Yeah. Hang around the right people, right? Mm -hmm. That's my boy right here, man. I knew this kid since he was a baby. <laughs> say what's up to, to the, say what's up to YouTube. We on YouTube yeah, right YouTube. now. <laughs> you, gonna, you going to practice? Yeah, we got waiting. Okay. Get that work in. What's up, fellas? What's up? How y'all doing? Y'all good? good? You? All right. Good. So I'd like to see... Three positive, four positive dudes together. Keep that up. Right? So, you have to uh, reevaluate that. You see, that's a prime example of that. You have four dudes coming out of school, going to weight room, right? And they all have a purpose in life. And they're all positive dudes. You know, my boy AJ is the ring leader. He's leading the pack. And, you know, you got a bunch of other leaders. You know, they're leading their own little thing got going, they got going on. And... That's what I mean about reevaluating your circle. I'm pretty sure a point in their life, they hung around friends who were no good for them and they had to reevaluate their surroundings and which they did and which they are right now. Now they're in a better position in life. They're going to wait, they're going in the weight room right now. Most high school kids aren't even doing that now. So my point is reevaluate your circle. Stop hanging around people who don't serve a purpose in your life. Stay away from people, stay away from deceptions and, and temptation and and just pure evilness because you know when you it's easy to find that especially at a young age because you're not accustomed to seeing certain things as you're growing up at a young age so a lot of things are new to you so you're easily you're easily influenced and you can fall into a lot of turmoil you if you know if not guided in the right light these kids out here man a lot of these kids in my town where i'm in where i am kids period in america or around the world world over 
there are a lot of misguidance going around, going on right now. And it doesn't help the world because the more misguided kids around, that, that's around the world, it makes up for what's to come in the future. And a lot of misguidance is, you know, <laughs> is going towards the future. So it makes the world a worse place rather than a better place. So we have to change the paradigm where we have to wake more kids up to reevaluate their surroundings and circles and actually change their paradigm because if not things will get worse so that's my little video i feel good today you see the glow you could get it too this guy out of work I'm about to go food shopping I'm hungry I'm about to go cook and uh yeah tomorrow stay tuned for another one life is speedy so go